What is going on guys, welcome to this brand new FIFA 14 Ultimate Team video. Now for today's video we have a championship squad builder with a couple of informs and a couple of team of the seasons. We are playing the 4-4, I mean the 4-3-3 formation with the two in brackets. So let's just get this underway with the goalkeeper. We have Julio Cesar, he plays for QPR. Well he did, he's now on loan to a, I think an MLS team. Well, he is uh, the highest rated goalkeeper in the championship. He is 83 diving, 77 handling, and 82 position is probably his standout stats. With 86 reflexes as well, he's not the best keeper to have in there. He is actually quite short, and he doesn't play well for me, but just because he was the highest rated, I thought I'd put him there. To our right back, we have... Trip, Trippier, I think, that's how to, I think that's how to pronounce his name, not completely sure. He's a 71 silver player, 83 pace, 70 passing, 70 dribbling. That's probably his standout stats, that's all I can really say about him. I think he has 3 star skills and 4 star weak foot as well. To our first centre back, we have Shackle. Once again, I'm not completely sure how to pronounce his name, I think that's how to pronounce his name. He has 68 pace anyway, 71 defending and 75 heading. All round a decent player. As you can see, he has got a red card, but... He is still a good player. Now to a, another centre-back. Alongside him, we have... I think he used to play for Manchester City. Not completely sure how to pronounce his name, so I'm not going to try. But he's 75 non-rare gold with 77 pace, 75 at defending and 76 heading. All these players at the back actually are not really good at heading. With 75 heading, 76 heading, you don't really tell in game. Now to our left-back, which is probably the best player in this team, or second best... We have team in the season, Cresswell. He plays for Ipswich and he has 86 pace, 78 passing, 72 dribbling, 74 defending. Now, for a silver 74 team in the season, them stats are pretty good. And he has some decent in game stats as well. So, I would definitely highly recommend him. He is an outstanding player. To our first, to our first centre midfielder, we have this guy here. Once again, not how, I'm, I'm not completely sure how to pronounce his name. But he plays for QPR, he has 69 at pace, 62 shooting, 60, uh, 76 passing, sorry, 72 dribbling, 72 defending, and 72 headed. All round, uh, all his stats are all rounded, I'd say. He's an okay player, I've scored a couple goals with him. He's not the best, but you could maybe put him there, maybe change him up completely up to you. To our other centre midfielder, we have also another player. Once again, not completely sure how to pronounce his name. Set by here, 73 pace, 70 passing, 73 dribbling, 73 defending, and 67 heading with also a 66 shot. He is mostly, you don't really notice him in game. He's not the best player in the world. I would definitely switch him up. Keep him, but switch this guy up because he is, he, you just don't notice him. To our CDM, we have, is it Bridcart? I'm not completely sure. Once again, my name's are just terrible anyway 71 pace 72 passing 73 dribbling 73 defending and 71 heading now once again he's an okay player you can maybe switch it up now the team of the season championship is out you could maybe change most of these players but this was recorded before the team of the season so anyway let's go to our let's let's go to our left wing our left wing we have another uh team of the season we have Andy Reid he's uh, obviously 74 overall with 61 pace 16 uh, 79 shooting 81 passing and 77 dribbling is probably his standout stats he has some decent in-game stats that's one of the main reasons why I got him his pace isn't all that with 61 the reason why I got him was not because of his pace just because he had a few decent in-game stats shooting passing crossing that's about it for him let's go to our right wing we have Buckley he plays for uh, the can actually don't know who he plays for he plays for he plays for Brighton and he has 86 pace now he feels a lot slower in game but he does seem fast but just doesn't seem 86 pace with 72 dribbling as well he's shot and he's passing is actually decent in game so 62 is a bit of a lie but overall he's a decent player I'll definitely highly recommend him to put in the right wing position now to our striker who is who has a now a team in the season, which I would definitely highly recommend. But this is his inform, his first, I mean, his second inform, I do believe. We have McCormack. Now, he is a fantastic player with 70, 77 pace, but with the free upgraded for the chemistry for the chemistry style he's 86 shooting 74 passing and 79 dribbling with 68 heading as well now his shot is outstanding i think he's about 90 finishing maybe a bit more not completely sure but his shot his pace his dribbling his passing is fantastic 
he will score you a lot of goals so i would definitely highly recommend him that's basically the team tell me tell me what you think of the team below in the comments if you did like the video please comment rate, and subscribe also if we can get this to five likes maybe even 10 likes i'll upload another video tomorrow so yeah that's basically it now if you did like the video please comment rate and subscribe also follow me on twitter link will be in the description and you know i'll see you next time